Hey guys, it's Kay. Now if you didn't know already, Google did announce in September that it would be shutting down its cloud gaming service, Stadia. And you should have got your hardware and software refunds by now. But did you know they've also released an online tool which enables the Bluetooth support on the Stadia controller. Now the Bluetooth tool does disable the controller's Wi-Fi, which is required for the Stadia gameplay. But heck, that service is down as of tomorrow, so who cares about that? Now this is great news as it gives the cloud streaming gamepad a second life. So if you do own one of these Stadia controllers, you can now use it with your PC, iOS or Android devices. And heck, I've even tried it on a Fire Stick TV and it works. So getting the Stadia controller converted to Bluetooth is straightforward. Just head over to the Google website and there you'll see a few warnings and the official cutoff date for the system. But you can ignore those. All you have to do is click on the switch to Bluetooth mode, which is the red button at the top of the screen. You then get a couple of options and you just want to click on the switch to Bluetooth mode. And from here, it's going to take you about three minutes to complete the conversion. You'll get the following window pop up. Just accept the terms of service and click on the start button. Okay, next it will guide you through. Just plug in your Stadia controller into your PC with a USB cable. Once it's plugged into your computer, click on the continue button. It will then want to verify your controller. Just click on the allow Chrome to verify button. You'll then get this box pop up, select Stadia controller and then click on the connect button. If all goes well, you get the following message, Chrome verified your Stadia controller. Then just click on the next step button. So we're nearly there guys, just unplug your controller from your PC as it says on screen and then plug it in again while holding the three dots button. And the last step is the tricky bit. You need to hold the four buttons as shown all at once for a few seconds. Once you've done that, click on the next step button and the following screen should pop up. Just click on the allow Chrome to download. You'll get the following box come up, just select the controller in the box and click on connect. And then you just wait a few moments while it downloads a new firmware. It'll give you a message download complete and then just click on the next step button. Okay, we are at the install stage now. So just click on the allow Chrome to install button and another window pops up. Just click on the USB device and then the connect button. And then you should see the installation bar progressing. And this probably takes about 30 seconds. And then you'll know it's finished because you'll get the message the latest Bluetooth mode is installed. Now using the Stadia controller on your device is as simple as turning on Bluetooth on your device and then turn on your Stadia controller as normal and it should start up in pairing mode. And you'll know it's in pairing mode as the Stadia button will flash orange. And once it's confirmed connection, the Stadia button goes white. And that's it, you can use your Stadia controller on your PC or Mac. And it's a similar process for connecting it to your Fistick TV. Go to the settings menu on your Fistick TV Scroll down to Remotes and Bluetooth Devices, click on Game Controllers, and then Add New Game Controller. It'll then start searching for new controllers. And now you want to click on your Stadia button and your white button together to get it in pairing mode. And after a few moments, it'll show up. And you just simply select it with your remote. And that's it, you're using your Stadia controller with your Fire Stick TV. Bit of a slog, but worth it in the end, as I'm sure you'll agree. So now you've got a controller to play your games on your Fire Stick TV. So guys, if you found this video helpful, please do give us a like and please consider subscribing for more great videos and tutorials.